Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I will give you reviews about watches and products related to traveling and I will also show you everything that I experience in Dubai and about Dubai. Today's video will follow up on the Remover Sport or trunk how it is called now. You have maybe seen the first video about the trunk in which I showed you the unboxing and also the shortcomings my suitcase had after I bought it. After a few discussions with the local remover store, all the quirks were fixed and I finally started enjoying my suitcase and used it since then for a lot of travels. This video will start now with a quick review of my remover trunk and afterwards I will show you the damage it received after 6 months of intensive usage. For around half a year I am now using the remover trunk for around 6 flights per month. The flights I use it for are normally flights starting at 3 hours but can go up to 9 hours and sometimes with an airplane exchange and a stop at half the distance. So I would say the suitcase is under quite some extensive usage. In addition to that, this suitcase became my favorite remover of all three that I own. So I usually prefer taking this one instead of the check-in large that I also own. What I like so much about this suitcase is first of all the size. It has a huge capacity, even more than my check-in large, but feels way nicer to move around. It is not that bulky like a standard size and it is easier to load in cars, pull around in areas with gates and it also stands very stable on its wheels. Due to the stable stand and the square top part, it is very nice or reliable to pack additional bags on it. So you will never have this weird feeling that maybe your bag will fall down. The next cool thing about it and especially the size and dimension is that you can pack bulky stuff like helmets, boots, cases, everything that's more in a square size better into the suitcase. For example, I usually travel with my self safety boots and my safety helmets, helmets as I need to take them for my work and this stuff is very inconvenient to pack into a normal size suitcase. But with the trunk size there is no problem for me. So, Usually that's why I prefer the remover trunk instead of the check-in large that I own. So what's the downside of it? First thing is due to its shape. The suitcase will always fall to one side when you pack it. It is not laying flat on the ground and has a way more wobbly feeling while packing it. This is not a big deal but can feel very annoying. Second. The suitcase is more expensive than a normal remover check-in and you usually will not find these at uh, suitcase dealers besides the remover stores. So a discount on one of these trunks is very difficult to get. And the third and last point is that I have the feeling the quality and finishing is not on the same level like the level of finishing my other removers have. When I bought the suitcase it had a broken lock already it was bent a little bit and I saw some other trunks in the same store that already had some bumps. Also from my feeling after 6 months of traveling with it, it feels like the stability is not on the same level of the normal check-in and it gets bent easier. So since the first service remover did, I already had a second one for a proper alignment of both sides of the suitcase. Let's now see what kind of damage the suitcase has after 6 months. As I said, it received two services at Remover already for a proper alignment for easy opening and closing. Besides that, 
it came with a broken lock that was replaced immediately. The shell of it received quite a few heavy bumps and of course a lot of scratches. You can see that especially the edges of the suitcase get a lot of hits. The display is perfectly fine, even though I'm not using this feature and also removed the battery after one of the employees of an airline asked me to do so when I checked in the luggage. The wheels work perfectly fine and make no issues. In this video you will also see how the suitcase is still a little bit bent and I will not be able to open it in a proper way. But this quirk is now already removed. As I said, Remover did a service to it, so both uh, sides of the suitcase are now aligned perfectly again. I hope I gave you a good overview how your luxury suitcase will suffer while you're traveling with it, but still, of course, I love the remover and enjoy every flight with it. In one of the next videos, I will do a question and answer session for you, as I received quite a few questions and messages due to my other remover videos. For now, I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.